it is believed that Srinivasa Ramanujam could write mathematical equation as is he had access to the whole universe. He also says that God has dicta dictates him those mathematical ideas. How can I reach to that state? First you must find a goddess, huh? <laughs> All of you, do you use a phone? Why? Why do you use a phone? Why did we first of all make a telephone? Because we can speak. If we had no ability to speak, would we manufacture a microphone, a telephone, any of these things? Hello? So a telephone, a telescope, a microscope, bicycle, automobiles, airplanes, everything what? What faculties we already have, we want to enhance that. All machines here are only enhancing our existing faculties. They have not come up with any absolutely new faculty. In the same context, right from ancient times in this culture, we came up with machines not made of material, not made of mechanical process, but an energetic process. What does a machine with an energetic process mean? See, suppose somebody is dead. You seen any dead people? Hello? Where did you see? I never saw. You saw dead people or dead bodies? Ah. Dead body means what? Let us say no accident happened, no murder happened, no nothing happened or let's say somebody just suffocated and died. If somebody suffocated and died, heart is in the right, heart is doing well, maybe not beating but it's fit, liver, kidney, damn everything is all okay. Only thing is the person is not alive. All the mechanical parts are okay. Only thing is that life energy is missing. So this is also an energy machine on one level. Isn't it so? Yes or no? This is also an energy machine, on top of it we put mechanical parts to it. Even if all the mechanical parts are intact, if there is no energy, this will not function. So from looking deep inside, we understood we could create an energetic machine without mechanical parts because if mechanical parts come, they need a certain level of maintenance and servicing and works. But if you just create an energy machine, it will simply function day and night. So we created energy machines, which in this culture we call as deities, or the English word is deity. Generally we call them as murtis, that means a form. A form which has a certain ability to do certain things, energetic forms. So some different forms are like windows to the existence, you could open up different dimensions. All this is forgotten, made into absolute nonsense today in the form of superstitions, but otherwise it was clearly prescribed. If you want intelligence, you go to one kind of deity. If you have fear problems, you go to another kind of deity. You have love issues, you go to another kind of deity. You have prosperity issues, you go to another kind of deity. Like this they made energetic forms which you must learn to use. These are not places of prayer, these are not places of worship. These are places where you learn how to use the machine for your benefit. They were built in various forms and various capacities. This is a very complex process. So Ramanujam comes from the south. He, these things were there everywhere in the country. But the northern belt of this nation has taken too many invasions, too much disruption. South, <laughs> we, you know, south of India, so we've been very well protected. Even today we maintain many things. We never had major disruptions as the north had. Because of this, certain sciences are still alive and active which could produce a Ramanu Ramanujam. Ramanujam spoke about black holes nearly a hundred years ago or more than hundred years ago. 
when there was no concept of black holes. He made mathematics for black holes when there was no concept of black holes. When they asked him, he was sitting on his deathbed and simply pouring out mathematics, notebooks and notebooks of mathematics, simply pouring out. People asked, where is this coming from? What is this? He said, my Devi bleeds mathematics.